We meet thousands of people in our lifetime. Family, friends, colleagues, lovers. Who all make an impact, however small. Sharing experiences, creating moments and memories that shape how we see the world and our outlook on life. Most of these people will fade from our mind as time passes, drifting from our lives like an old photograph fading in the sunlight. Others, if we're lucky, will remain close to us for the rest of our days. There are some people, however, the rare few, who can come into our lives and change it forever. I was 21 when I first met Jack. We had a lot in common and we became friends from the start. What I didn't know then was just how big an impact he would have on me. Did you ever think about like leaving the country or something? To go to Italy. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Irish boys that take over their syndicate. Make them an offer they can't refuse. Beautiful wine out here. Even Aye, though. So I hear, so I hear. Everybody's faded here. I trade the half out. Do you want to get like. like vodka and stuff? Office closed, man. Who said anything about an office? <laughs> oh my god. You're what mad. is this? What is this? Sounds good to me, actually. Come on before the notice. Come on. Oh, let's go, man. Oh, Alright, let's go. <laughs> Good night last night, wasn't it? I was rough as one of them. <laughs> sure, you get used to it. Yeah, I'm sure you did. It's great party though. Yeah, they always are. But here we had night tonight again. We're going to McNulty's at eight. If you want to come. Oh, well, I'll see you there at eight then. All right. Well, see you then. Cool. You okay, Jack? Yeah, I just thought he was looking at me. Yeah. Oh, he's not looking at you.
was last night about them. I don't know, I was just steaming like I hardly even remember. I'm not even that drunk. <laughs> I don't know, it just like totally went to my head. I just, as I said, it was just the drink. I was at the bar, right? And you and that guy I got, I got into a fight with the other night. Do you remember? Like I saw him and I went up to apologise to him because like, I was out of my head that night and um, his mates were there and uh, like, he was having none of it and then they said they were going to get me and then so I like, got out of there and then they started chasing me and like, I think I lost them but like I came here because I knew you'd be you were fine with me coming over. So. It's night. four in the morning. I know, I know, I know, I know. But like, would it be alright if I um, like, I crashed on your sofa or something? Because yeah, just to uh, be safe, you know. I can crash on my sofa here. Come on. Thank you. Okay. God. God. Jack. <laughs> Come on, man. So, what's going on, man? What happened last night? I'm just, I don't really want to talk about it with me. I mean, keep on going on this way. You're going to get a kick in one of these days. I know, I mean, obviously you're right, but it's just, I was really drunk, and I don't really want to talk about it. Well, if you ever do need to talk about it, I mean, I'll be more than happy to help. Oh, yeah, thanks. It's not healthy keeping stuff like this bottled up. You know, I've heard people do this. Like, it's kind of funny to hear him. Yeah, well, I'm going to go on here, so thanks, but. Um. Okay, see you, Jack. Alright then. I'm fine. You've been in there for ages. What's going on? Why, why won't you talk to me? 
I'm all right. I'm all right. I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be fine. Don't worry. It's okay. All right, I'll, I'll be out in a wee minute, don't worry. I'll be out in a minute, love, right? Right, right, okay. Safe inside our bubble With love to shield us from everything When it popped, I was not prepared For everything that came pouring in I can feel the So that's it. That's Jack. I gave him a name soon after my suicide attempt. I realized that I had been given a second chance and decided to turn my life around. I got the help I needed to deal with some of the thoughts I'd been bottling up. I was confused, frustrated, angry and lost, but just talking to someone got it off my chest, which was a great first step. It made me realize that suicide is not the answer. I could have drawn a line at any point, changed it all overnight. There was support there that I didn't even know about. I'm happy to say I've lived a long, fulfilling and exciting life, full of amazing experiences and wonderful people. I have a great supportive family and I have lived to meet my grandchildren. I still see Jack from time to time but we don't speak anymore. My time with him is now a distant memory, another life altogether, one that ended that day on the bridge. I've learned how to embrace the positive things and distance myself from the negatives. I live life as an adventure and make the most of every day because you never know what day will be your last. I see.
closer to the clouds of smoky gray for one silver line to pull them away I was confused good lost in the flame.